some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Florida once again with a sovereign citizen who, well, just doesn't seem to understand that the the rhetorical question, how stupid can you be? Because this sob turd, well, definitely meets the criteria of not knowing how stupid she can be. And her stupidity ends up having consequences, mainly the disappearance of one of her windows. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Sir, is there a threat? Is there a threat? To public safety, sir. Ma'am, step out of your vehicle with your license, please. Ma'am, lawful order to exit your vehicle. Are you registration Can you please get your sheriff, the head sheriff? Please get the head sheriff. Get your get your boss, please. I wanna speak to your Get your boss. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong, sir. I'm recording you. I've done nothing wrong. Sir, get your boss. Sir, get the head sheriff, please. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. Is there a threat? Is there a threat to public safety? And and not having a license is, a license plate is not arrestable offense according to it's not an arrestable offense, sir. You're right on that. It is not an arrestable offense not to have a license plate, but it is required by uh, Florida law to have one affixed to your vehicle. Otherwise, you will face fines and penalties for that. And uh, if you don't present your driver's license to the officer, which I'm sure you didn't at the beginning of this particular traffic stop, then uh, you can be uh, subject to an arrest for failure to identify yourself at a traffic stop, you dummy. But need I remind uh, the audience that this is a sovereign citizen, uh, and they just don't seem to understand that it not only operates under common law, but actually statutory law as per the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But hey, if you want to lose your window over your stupidity, then, well, that's not my fault. That's your own fault. Why did you pull me over? Do you have a threat to public safety that you need to address? You are made of stupid. Get your supervisor. Right now, no, now. I, I'm no if longer not, speaking to you. Look. If not, Look it. Break your window. If you break my window, that's an illegal search and siege. That's illegal. I'm giving you a lawful order to Look, exit the vehicle. Ma'am, you're right now I'm placing you under arrest I'm, without violence. Am I am I under a custodial arrest or am I free to go? You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Well, let me explain something to you, uh, you little nitwit. The officer had probable cause to pull you over for no license plate, and Florida law requires that you identify yourself at the traffic stop, otherwise there will be penalties for that too. But your mushy little brain just can't uh, seem to comprehend that kind of thing. So now instead of uh, you being detained for a traffic stop, it's going to lead to you uh, being arrested and your window going bye-bye. Somebody really needs to practice their de-escalation techniques right here, don't they? Am I under custodial arrest? Yes, I'm arresting you for, for what? Violence, for refusing my lawful order. I'm not refusing you anything. Your license, Look, your you didn't ask me. You just you told me to pull order. over, and there's no threat to public safety. Look, right now. look. Let me show you. Window. Let me show you. I'm going to show you something. Right now, this is under notice of motion to federal court. This case is under notice of motion to federal court. Look, signed by a grand jury administrator and time stamped by the courts, okay? I'm gonna show you. It's time stamped by the courts. Right now you are violating my pursuits to travel. You do realize that the right to travel argument is all about 
the rights to uh, go from state to state, right? So those court cases really have nothing to do with the operation of a motor vehicle on the public roadways, you moron. In fact, well, the statutes in every state are set up for that kind of thing. And you know what else is set up with for this kind of thing as well? The courts, because you're trying to argue your point on the roads. That's what the courts are for. Signed and dated. You see that? Now, sir, I've done nothing wrong, and it's not an arrestable offense to drive without a license plate. I want to see your boss, please. I'm trying to be reasonable here, and I'm. You want five? You listen to that? And I'm not doing anything wrong, and I've asked if I could see your boss, please. I already told her she's under arrest. I I cannot be under arrest because there's no injured party. Is there an injured party? Do you have an affidavit and a, an arrest uh -huh. warrant? Do you have an arrest warrant? Uh -huh. He needs to come from away from there. Also, I have a fencing and posting on my body. I have a fencing and posting that says, do not touch my property, my body. You a lawful All, order sir, order what lawful order the states lawful order that you can pull you me over and right illegally now. search me? Ma'am, I'm not trying to search you. Where is, yes you are. No, you're I'm trying, trying. You're I have the right fifth, now, I have a rights, I have rights, and I want to speak to your boss. That's fantastic, once you get out I want to speak to your boss. No, sir, right now, because if you do anything, you will be done the same way right here. You have a bond, you have license and insurance. There's already one policeman been fired for treating me this way. Sir, I want to speak to your boss. I'm recording you, and I want to speak to your boss. Fantastic. Get out of the vehicle. Oh my god. Where's the head sheriff? Where is the head sheriff? Get out Where the is the head sheriff for what is this county called? Alachua County Sheriff. Alachua County. I'm Where is your Rocha, boss? ID 1644. Where is your boss? A lawful order to, a lawful the order to do what? To get out of the vehicle. I do not have to get out of private yeah, property, I'm sir. Right now, sir, right where is your boss? You have the right to act I am not trying to argue with you. Yourself. Get me your boss, please. I am not trying to argue with you, says the person that is actually arguing with the officer at this point. If you want to argue the whole point, it is not to be done out on the street. It is to be done out in court, you freaking nitwit, moron, lead paint drinking sobtard. Get Please get me your boss. Ma'am. Please get me your get boss. Me You're under arrest. Sir, I'm not violence. under arrest. There's no I'm arrest warrant. Right Do you have an arrest warrant? Under arrest. Do you have a proper arrest warrant? Do you have an arrest warrant with a signed wedding signature from a judge that says there's an injured party that I've injured someone? Ma'am, I'm telling you. Do right you now. have that? Go get your you boss, please. I to don't touch my vehicle. If you do, that's an illegal search and siege. Sir, I've done nothing wrong. Please get me your boss. Please get me your boss. Please get me your boss. I don't know how many times I have to ask for that. I, I feel threatened right now. I'm being threatened. I'm being coerced. I'm being I'm under duress right now. I'm being threatened that if I don't give to the whims of this sheriff, that I'm gonna be harmed, that my vehicle's gonna be harmed. I need to speak to your sheriff. I need to speak to your office the, the your superior. I need to speak to your superior, sir. Look, let me show you something. Let me just show you this. This is called the Common Law Handbook. I need to speak with your boss. Arizona tag on the trailer. I need to speak with your boss. You're you're doing something illegal right now. You have a and duty. You have, your on you? you have a duty to uphold okay. the Constitution. Are you an oath? Are you an oath keeper or an, a a code enforcer? Which one are you? Are you an oath keeper or a, a code enforcer? Which one are you? Because you don't have a right to pull me over and arrest me. I've done nothing wrong. Look, where is your boss? Are you an oath keeper, Sheriff? Sir? Are you an oath keeper? Look, I do not want to argue with you. I've done nothing wrong. Spoiler alert, here in a moment, she's going to start reading the uh, job description of these officers. Uh, and guess what? The uh, very thing that is going on right here 
is part of that job description that she reads. And she completely ignores that to go on uh, a tirade about something at the end of that job description. Yeah, kind of a cognitive dissonance right there. And here's your duty. Here's your duty. You the no duty right of the today? sheriff. You have a sheriff's so duty. Identify yourself? I, why do I have to identify myself? I've done nothing wrong. Sheriffs today, law enforcement, a sheriff always has the power to make arrests within his or her own county. Some states extend this authority to adjacent counties or to the entire state. Many sheriff's officers also perform routine patrol functions such as traffic control, accident investigations, and transportation of prisoners. Larger departments may perform criminal investigations and some usually large sheriff's office command and air patrol. As sheriff's law enforcement is due to become more extensive and complex, new career up court duties. Sheriffs are responsible for maintaining sa safety and the security of the court. A sheriff's deputy may be required to attend court. You really don't get it, do you? This is a traffic stop. And what are they doing? What are they uh, trying to get through your head? That this is a traffic stop. They have the lawful authority to deal with traffic stops by your own freaking words. Well, at least from what you read in that job description right there, and you still don't get it. Let me ask you something. Is your brain made of stone? Because that would be the only explanation as to why you can't seem to absorb this kind of information. Sir, where is your boss? You, you're bound by the Constitution and the oath that you kept. You have no immunity from liability when you are violating your constitutional, my constitutional rights. Do for the passenger side? No. Don't break my window. Get out of the car. That's it. Get out of the car. Don't. Get out of the car. Don't. Ma'am, get out of the car. Why would you do such a thing? I get feel threatened. Car. He's violating my rights. He's get violating. What is your name? What is your name? Get out of the car. What is your name? Get out no. Of the car. No, you broke my window. No. Safe flight like repair, safe flight like replace. Get out of car. No, man. no. You're under They're ripping me out of my vehicle. You're under Stop. arrest. Stop. I did nothing wrong. Stop. And that's where the video ends, folks. You know, the most ironic part to me is the uh, part where she is reading out the job duties of these officers while they are performing the said duties that she is reading out. Kind of amazing how stupid she is, really. So she is definitely on the low end of the IQ scale, considering that alone is just an indicator that she has no ability to comprehend what she is reading whatsoever. So it sounds like to me that she's that type of person that you really don't want to be home alone with while there are sharp objects around, because she probably wouldn't understand the consequences of her actions anyway. Yeah, that kind of person. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?